For breakfast on Monday, I decided to make probably my most repeated breakfast, which is my fruit and granola yogurt bowl. I pretty much always have some kind of fruit in the fridge, so I just throw in whatever's in season that I have, but berries during the summer and early fall are my favorite during the year. I always top it off with some granola and then drizzle some honey on top. Have to get that right. Please fall back into these We cooled under the different sky. For lunch, I decided to do spicy chicken wraps with these spicy chicken tenders that we've been super obsessed with. We just throw them in the air fryer after spraying with oil to get them crispy. And then we use some whole wheat lavash wraps and spinach and artichoke yogurt dip, both from Trader Joe's, which go really nicely with the chicken and it's super easy to put together. We'd be dancing in the corner, sleeping on my shoulder. You can come and have it all with me if you want it, baby. If you got it bad, like I got it bad for you. If you got it bad, like I got it bad for you. Let me tell you about the way that I've been thinking about us. Tuesday's breakfast was another repeat favorite meal of mine, which is a homemade breakfast sandwich. So to start, I always toast the English muffin, microwave the sausage patty, and cook either egg whites or a scrambled egg. This is kind of my lazy way of doing sriracha mayo, where I just squirt some mayo and sriracha on top and I basically mix it together as I spread it, and then I put a slice of cheese on the eggs while it's still warm and put everything together. For lunch, I decided to make grilled fish tacos with the tilapia we had in the fridge. So I patted them dry and then seasoned them with salt, pepper, and smoked paprika. We ate the tacos with my favorite Trader Joe's salsa and the leftover spinach artichoke dip from yesterday. This might look like I'm making breakfast, but it's actually because for dinner I decided to make a Chinese tomato and egg dish, which is a delicious, savory, slightly sweet, and tart dish that goes really well with rice. So you start out with mixing whole eggs with ground white pepper, sesame oil, and Shaoxing wine. Then you chop one and a half pounds of ripe in-season tomatoes into chunks and chop two scallions and set them aside. Stand so don't stay 
First, you'll gently scramble the egg mixture and then set that aside as soon as they're cooked. And then in the same pan, heat up some more oil, throw in the scallions, and then cook until they're just soft, and then add in the tomatoes. You'll add in some salt, some sugar, and about a quarter cup of water, and I actually added a little bit too much here, but you'll want to let that cook down until the tomatoes start softening a little bit and everything becomes less watery and more saucy. And then to thicken it up more, I added about half a teaspoon of cornstarch and made a slurry with some of the liquid from the pan, and then added the eggs into the pan and the slurry back in also. After letting that cook down a little bit more to thicken, I tasted to make some adjustments and ended up adding a little bit more white pepper and then served everything with rice and leftover tilapia from lunch. For Thursday's breakfast, I was really craving a smoothie and we had these smoothie packs from Costco that I really wanted to try out. And the directions basically said that all I really needed to do was blend them with my milk of choice. So I blended them with our unsweetened soy milk. But unfortunately, this was a total bust. Definitely needed some sweetener and it was super bland, so I didn't enjoy it at all. If you buy these, I definitely recommend blending it with a banana or some kind of sweetener. For lunch, I was really craving noodles, and when I tell you that these Kiki Sichuan noodles are the best quality instant noodles you can buy, I really mean it. They taste pretty much like fresh noodles, and it's pretty amazing. Um, but because I didn't want to eat only instant noodles, I decided to make some Chinese-style stir-fried cabbage on the side. As the cabbage was softening, I just added some Chinese five spice and then some soy sauce and black vinegar. And then to get some protein in with the noodles, I cleaned out the same pan, added oil, and then started cooking some lean beef. The noodles come with a little sauce packet and some chili flakes, so the last step was to mix that all up and put it together. After we finished lunch, I started prepping dinner just because there was a tri-tip roast that was sitting in the fridge and needed to be eaten soon. And that sounds intimidating, but all I did was pat it dry with paper towels, then season it all over with a spiced dry rub that I had on hand. And you could do this with a pre-made seasoning too, but I'll include my favorite recipe down below. After that, I just put it in a container and it went in the fridge. My afternoon snack was a Greek yogurt bowl and I topped that with raspberries, sort of how I do for breakfast, but this time I decided that I wanted some chocolate syrup on it, so I put that on there, um, kind of weird and random maybe, but it was actually really good. Then for dinner, it was time to cook that tri-tip. I took it out of the fridge, patted it dry, caught a skillet really hot with oil, and then I seared it on both sides. And then I put it into the oven for around 15 minutes and then checked the temperature. Um, this was a perfect medium rare. I made horseradish mayo to go with it, which was literally just some prepared horseradish and mayo. After letting the meat rest for about 10-15 minutes, I started slicing it and started putting together the tri-tip steak wraps.
the next morning because we had leftover tri-tip, I decided to make steak and eggs for breakfast with a side of toast. For lunch, we had these frozen pre-portioned salmon fillets that we had unpackaged and put in the fridge one or two days before to defrost. So I got rid of the excess liquid and then I patted them dry with paper towels as much as I possibly could um, because they were pretty wet from being frozen. Um, but after that, I seasoned them with salt and then put them skin side down in an oiled hot pan to get the skin nice and crispy. Once I saw that they were cooked a little bit more than halfway up the fillet, I flipped them over to finish cooking. For dinner, we decided to make the same spicy chicken wraps as earlier in the week with the leftover ingredients because we love them so much. And we used the same spinach and artichoke yogurt dip from Trader Joe's as the sauce and used broccoli slaw this time as the veggies. I don't think like that, she says to me I can't help but feel the subtleties So if it all expires, I guess the date's not what it seems But I can't help it, boy, she says to me I'm not sure I truly gave my best Hello! So it's Friday and it's lunchtime and usually I would cook um, lunch for both me and my fiance. Um, probably something protein heavy that's fairly healthy which is what I usually do for weekday lunches for the two of us. But today um, my fiance is actually not in the house right now. He is um, off to a team outing. So I'm by myself and, um, well not by myself, with I have Kaigo, but um, I'm by myself as far as cooking. Um, so I don't know, like I enjoy cooking more elaborate meals when it's not just for me, but um, when it's just me, like I like to cook something that is good and satisfying, but like won't take too much time or like be too fussy um, so today is actually the perfect excuse for me to eat instant noodles i think what i'm gonna do is cook one of these momofuku noodles um so i bought a pack of three different flavors um we've tried this these soy scallion noodles already um haven't tried the spicy soy or the tingly wavy tingly chili wavy noodles i think i'm leaning towards this one um if you want to buy them i'll link it down below in case anyone is interested as soon as i jump in 
sure my feet will touch the ground But I can't swim And I'm not sure it matters in the end I know that I should practice what I preach But telling you the truth is hard for me so Jesus, could you help me out? Cause I'm bursting at the seams I guess I'll never know what's good for me Honestly, I feel like this ended up actually being pretty healthy with the salmon and the, the leftover broccoli Let's try the noodles really good i wouldn't say it's tingly though i was expecting like a like a sichuan tingly kind of feeling but it's salty but i don't feel a lot of sichuan spice crispy salmon skin is really the only way to enjoy salmon skin just just listen to this so good I know you want me, but I want you more Still ain't thinking about the times when I still ignore the signs Are you thinking of me? I'm not quite sure But my intuition's telling me you never really were I've been running, but trying to hide My feelings I can't deny Might be wrong or right I want you in my life For dinner, I wanted to make a rice and veggie bowl with roasted chicken thighs So I first made a spice blend um, and that was some smoked paprika, oregano, garlic powder, chili powder, and black pepper and pretty much used about a half teaspoon of each and then I added about a teaspoon of salt per pound of chicken that I had and then after that, I drizzled the chicken with some oil on a baking sheet before seasoning all over with a spice blend and then put it into the oven to roast. Then I got to work on prepping and chopping all the veggies that I have left over in the fridge since I wanted to have those cooked when the chicken was done cooking in about 30 minutes. I want you in my life. It's like the same as the glaze except with a subtle pumpkin spice. Yeah. 
Mm. Yeah, it's definitely better than the mm. one. This is really good. Yeah. That one's bomb. Next one. I don't know if I can eat half of this one. Okay, well. I'll have a bite though. Really good too. Too sweet for you? This one's intense. Alright. Well, since we tried basically all I wanted to try today. On Sunday before our brunch plans, I made a fruit smoothie with vanilla protein powder and the smoothie packs from early in the week were much better this time with the vanilla. <laughs> 